Building a police force that looks like the community it serves. The Seminole County Sheriff says he understands that it has been difficult in the past because of how some people of color may feel about police officers. So he's turning to his police pastor to recruit and even sponsor recruits. New Six's Eric Von Aiken shows us how they're getting results together. Unfortunately, I'm not, you know, excited to talk about it, but my uncle, he had a rough past and he had some encounters with law enforcement, one in particular that I witnessed, and it scarred me. Newly promoted Captain Cornelius Blue never pictured himself in a Seminole County Sheriff's Office uniform growing up in Sanford's historically black community of Goldsboro, and his family especially didn't, except for his grandmother. And when my grandmother um, spoke with me um, a few days before she passed away, um, I committed to her that I would do something uniquely different in the family. That's when the captain discovered his calling to serve as a deputy sheriff. I wouldn't trade him for the world. And as a pastor, still in Goldsboro after all these years at Calvary Temple of Praise. How can I not be in ministry and not be in law enforcement officer? Because I believe it's one. And now he's finding young people much like he was through the church and through other pastors who might be great at serving their community, even at a time when they might not want to be seen in a police uniform. The community is pushing for uh, uh, change. They want to see more representation, uh, people that look like them, that interact with them, because I believe with that, you have somebody that's more understandable. We wanted to do a better job with rec recruiting a minority and people with a, a level of diversity to help police and provide service to our community. The sheriff says the idea of recruiting in minority communities like Goldsboro and at historically black colleges came out of a task force he started after the murder of George Floyd in Minneapolis to modernize the Seminole County Sheriff's Office. The recruitment program through Captain Blue seeks out minority candidates with a military background, a diploma, or just somebody who wants to serve. And recruits who are selected by the Sheriff's Office get a salary, a scholarship to the police academy, and the promise of a job as a deputy sheriff or corrections officer if they finish the academy. And because of that, we're seeing positive results. Already the Sheriff's Office is ready to hire several minority recruits. And another change the sheriff told me he made is he went to his hiring department here at the sheriff's office and asked them why are seemingly qualified candidates being disqualified from hiring? They said largely it's because of this blanket policy of no marijuana use. So the sheriff, understanding that more and more places are legalizing marijuana use, got rid of it entirely, now giving otherwise good candidates a good shot at becoming deputy sheriffs. At the Seminole County Sheriff's Office, Eric Von Eich and getting results together, News 6.